What's up, track nerds? We are back. It's been a while since we've done this. I'm Chris Chavez. This is Kyle Merber. We've got our other special guest host, Allie Feller, in the house. Welcome to After the Final Lap, presented by New Balance. We're here at the track at New Balance. The New Balance Indoor Grand Prix just wrapped up. It's the most times I've said New Balance it consecutively in, in a span of like three sentences. But what an awesome meet. Kyle, I guess, and, and Allie, what was the highlight for, for you guys? Like seeing a packed stadium like this. This is your only your second ever indoor race, okay. right? Okay. <laughs> All right. Right off the bat, I was like, should I admit that this is only my second indoor track meet? I don't want to diminish any credibility, but you, you went for it. So, for it. We're getting yeah. fans, yeah. But here's what I will tell you. This was my second indoor track meet. I brought my daughter, who's four, and she lasted the whole time. Which Starting that, young. I mean, that for me was a highlight, that we survived as parents. You know, that's always a good thing. It was awesome. Yeah. I had so much fun. This, My first two track meets were when this track opened last year and now. So if you're going to break in a new fan, I feel like this is the way to do it. Packed house, sold out, uh, world records. Pretty yeah. good night. Yeah. Well, I think my highlight is finally getting into the sports lab here in New Balance. We've seen a lot of athletes at different points come in where we are. We're under the gr- underground right now. Watching at home. And, like, all around us, testing equipment to ultimately help athletes get fast. Cool that I like want to hop on. I can use some help. Yeah. Treadmill, get some feedback. But uh, yeah, I mean, track track season is fully underway. Indoor track is three weeks. Yeah. So this meet, biggest highlight is the world record that was set in 500 meters. And I guess like to help break that race down, I figured it'd be fun to the person who broke that record. Sensible. Come on over. Come on in. World championship medalist in the 400 <laughs> hurdles. Now you can add world record holders. By the way, we don't talk about world best. We're anti-world best. We are only world record guys. So how, how did that feel today? I think it was great. The meet is great, and the track is amazing, and the atmosphere was super, and it was my first time being in the U.S. for just a meet, and I loved it. The 500 was a bit less tough than I thought, so I loved it even more. So are you on team, like, no such thing as world best, or it's only world record? Like, how will you describe this to a friend? <laughs> I don't really care too much. I mean, I'm just happy it's the best time in the world, but I would say to a friend that's a world record, I guess. Yes, we got her on board. <laughs> it's just so much easier, right? Like, there's no asterisk yeah. or, like, explanation involved. Yeah. How were the vibes in here? You mentioned it, but how much are you actually hearing when you're racing? Not before and after, but during the race, how much of the crowd were you hearing? Well, it really depends, but it was a loud crowd. I mean, the last straight, I was tired, and I heard, like, the commentators saying, 61, 62, and the crowd going, like, wild, and it was amazing, and it helped so much to give this adrenaline boost and keep on going, so I love it. So we were trying to debate this, like, earlier in the week. How does someone run the 500-meter world record? So what was the strategy coming into it, and did it, uh, how would you execute it? Uh, I did one session of 400 meter to feel the pace a bit, and my coach told me, you can go slow, you can go fast, but either way, it will be tough. So it's better to go out fast because <laughs> if you go slow, you'll go even slower at the end, so you won't run fast. And if you go fast, maybe you die at the end, but it's like that, so it was okay. Put first 400 meter and then keep on going. What's harder now, the 400 hurdles or the 500? Well, I'm more comfortable with the hurdles <laughs> for sure, but uh, hurdles is tougher also mentally that you really have to adapt if it's not going like you want. Now, you said you, you've you been in the U.S. before, but never for a track meet. First time in Boston? Yes, also. What do you think? It's always this cold. <laughs> <laughs> always. I hope it's not always this cold. It's not. It's not. <laughs> no, I love it. I also brought my mom with me, so she discovered a bit of the city. I was laying a lot in bed to try and run fast today. Uh, but tomorrow I will see a bit more. But it feels really cozy and like nice to see the old buildings, but there's also some new ones. So I really like it. Go ahead. Yeah, what's on the agenda for tomorrow then? I think maybe the Harvard Library we're thinking of, or we also have a new balance team lunch. It will be a lot of fun. So I guess we see how tired I feel. Yeah. <laughs> Any suggestions? Like what should uh, I don't live here. Do? I know. But no, you I know, live in New Hampshire. I'm, okay. Well, um, get get lobster rolls. Do you like lobster? 
maybe. Oh, <laughs> please give it a try. So my first suggestion, I nailed it. Uh, get a lobster roll. I feel like that's a very Boston thing. Clam chowder. Like, just go all in on the seafood, the New England. I don't know what's tomorrow. It's going to be warm. It's going to be like 26 yeah. degrees tomorrow. So yeah. go for a nice wait, long walk. Wait, 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 wait. Fahrenheit. <laughs> oh, shoot. Fahrenheit. <laughs> very important to stay in Fahrenheit. Yeah, yeah it's going to be great. Walk around and see how your legs feel. But go for a walk. It is. It's a quaint, nice city. Go to Levain Bakery on oh, yeah. um, Newberry uh, Street. I got something. <laughs> yeah. You're good. You're on it. All right. I'm, my work is done here. So after the race, I heard someone in the mix zone ask you if you're going to run the 800. Do 400 hurdlers get tired of that question? Like, it's always like 800, 800. Like, you're really good at this. And you did once run an 800 before. Yeah, twice. I don't, yeah. How much you have? Okay, you, twice before. Yeah. Yeah. 219. Yeah. I would say stick with the 400 hurdles. <laughs> yeah, me too. That's what I tell people. Let me stick with the hurdles. No, it's too far for me. But I've always said running longer than 400 is too far so I have to come back on my words but I hope this is not an attempt for my coach to get me <laughs> they planted that seed yeah. we, we actually just got paid to ask that question yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry sorry got you coach so we asked some of your teammates this when we were at the world championships last year why has the Netherlands gotten so good at the 400 for you I guess like how how do you explain just like this rise that the country has had in that event well, I think we got new two new coaches, Loda and Bram, and they work together really good. And um, we all train together at Papendal, almost all of us. And I think it's really we're training a good atmosphere. Of course, there's some rivalry because we run against each other, but it's mostly helping each other. And everyone has their strengths and weaknesses, and we work on it together as a team. And I think that makes you run in relay also with your heart because you want for the whole team to run well. So I think it's really a team effort, and it really shows that we go good as a team. So it's really nice to see. What's your pre-race vibe? Are you chill? Are you listening to music? Are you taking a nap on the track? Like, what what are you like before you race? Uh, it depends on the day how nervous I am, but I try to listen a bit to music and keep on smiling and making some jokes with my coach or my teammates to get a bit chill because I can be pretty nervous. How nervous were you today? Very nervous. Really? <laughs> Yeah, I was so scared for this last 100 meter, but I knew if I'm scared, I'm not going to run fast. So <laughs> I really tried to block it out and just go. But yeah, it's nerve-wracking your first race of the season and then a 500 even further. It, but it was really nice. And when you have a crowd like this, it makes me less nervous because I also enjoy it a lot. I'm coming all the way to Boston, not just to race and be nervous and stressed, but also <laughs> to enjoy it, the whole part of it. Is there a race that you can remember that you've been the most nervous for in your life? Ooh. Well, I remember my first nationals. I could was in the final with the seniors, and I was in my blocks. So I was like, maybe I should do a false start. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I was 17. <laughs> you talked yourself out of it, though? Yeah, no, I didn't dare. <laughs> <laughs> what about at the Olympics? Like, I hear, you know, a lot of athletes get more nervous in the prelims and the semifinals compared to the actual final. Was that you're the case for you? Uh, yes, yeah, sometimes it's a bit more nerve-wracking because I also want to save some energy sometimes, and then you're like, okay, how do I do this? But what if I save too much energy and I don't make it? So it's always because my plan is a bit more fake. I get a bit more stressed, but at the same time, when I'm at a tournament and I have my confidence high, normally I'm not that stressed, and I know, okay, I'm ready to do this, and I'm going to give it my all. So uh, two weeks ago, I sat down with Dalil Muhammad, and we recorded a podcast together, and I asked her, what has changed about the 400 hurdles in the last, like, four years? Because the three of you, you, Sydney, and Dalil, have just changed it. Like, the event has totally changed. And she said that you, you guys made it a sprint from the very beginning. Like, and so what are you doing in training to keep up with the changes that the event has seen? Like, how, how that acceleration into the first hurdle – like the splits are crazy now yeah it's truly really amazing and especially their splits on hurdle one it's my weakest part <laughs> so i'm not running that fast splits but yeah it's really we just go all out and don't think too much about how am i of course you think about the last orders but we really want to make it a good first 200 meter and i think i just tried to do it by working on my frequency because i did 15 strides before and now i'm gonna try to go to 14 strides because i hope it makes me go the same fast but in a bit an easier way so it's exciting to see the level being raised so much and to be part of it. How does that transition happen to go from 15 to 14? Is it, you know, just doing it again and again, or are there, like, more specific, like, things that you're doing in the weight room, drills? Like, I mean, it's teaching your body to use a side of it that, like, it's not used to, right? 
Yeah, I guess the strengthening part, my coach is all taking care of yeah. and I just do what he says, but we really work on like the technique because I have to alternate my legs now and I have one leg I really prefer and it's also just Which like that? the left leg. I like my left leg. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah, next to it we just did some technique to get the get it in and then work on the stride length and go from six steps to seven to eight and then slowly getting there. But I really like the process. It's a nice challenge. Sub fifty, is it possible? Wow, that would be amazing. <laughs> yeah. If you would have asked me two years ago, I would have said no. no way. But now <laughs> it's running 60, 68. I mean, it's amazing. And it's nice to see how much more is going on and how they're breaking limits. So I hope. Yeah. Did you want her in that 500 today? It would have been nice. It's always <laughs> nice competing against her. She's the best in the world. So it makes me also better. Here in the States this week, she got a commercial for ESPN on SportsCenter. Ooh, I guess for you back at home, like, what's the coolest opportunity that has come up because, like, you're a national star for them on the track? Like, has there been a TV show you went on? Or, like, what what, what do you want, uh, want to try and do? Besides City of Snag. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Besides being on this show, right? <laughs> ah, well, I hope once I will be asked for, like, a, how do you say it? TV game show? You want to be on there? a game show? Yeah. But Which oh, one? this is Allie's. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Allie. I don't know if you have to see. We have things. This one, I'm not saluting my, like, expedition a little bit soon. Okay. We know this. It's people have to survive on an island. I'm like a survivor. Kind of they have I'm, survivor here, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm too scared of things, but something okay. like that, or we have, like, who is the mole? The, the mole? Oh, that's on Netflix you know now. Yeah. I, think, right? I, I used to love that show in, like, high school. Like, that's been around. Yeah, I love the mole show. Yeah. I don't know if it's the same I'm in cool. the US, but <laughs> Yeah, something like that. I hope one day, but after my career, I guess. Yeah, like a being game dropped show. on an island for an extended period of time, not great for training. No. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Has anyone tried yeah, it? No one has tried it yet. <laughs> so I guess I'm, for the rest of the indoor season for you, I mean, are there the European championships? Is that the main focus? And, like, uh, how do we get there, I guess, over the next couple of weeks? A couple other competitions? or? Yeah, I got three more competitions and then Europeans. So I really like indoors. It's a lot of fun, and it's just a break of all the training. And if we feel well, we do it. And, oh, I feel well. So uh, it will be fun to do some races for 100 it's nice with breaking in together in a strong field. It will be fun. Will you be going back to South Africa, right? That's where your training camp was? Yeah, was we're not in South Africa. Or, like, are you now done with training camp and now it's race to race? Yeah, I'm now going back on Monday and then on Saturday and Wednesday and then Saturday again I race. So after that we go back to South Africa to get to the warm. <laughs> what do you do in training camp? Like, what's your, I mean, you can only spend so much time running each day. Yeah, I like to lay a lot in bed, play games with people. <laughs> I do that there. too, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always plan things, but at the end I'm too tired because it's a lot of hard training, so I just end up in bed laying or calling with friends. <laughs> what kind of games? You play games like board games, like Twister? What kind of games? Yeah, yeah we play like board games or dice, dice yeah, games, yeah, yeah. but yeah. they are really Dutch games, so you won't know them. So you got to teach us something. Yeah. Is it gambling? Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, you use dice to not gamble. Yes. Uh, here in the U.S., we strictly use dice yeah. to gamble. Yeah. Uh, we'll teach you CeeLo after. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Teach me too. Yeah. yeah. Well, Femke, I appreciate you taking the time for this. We'll let you enjoy the rest of the festivities here at New Balance. Uh, at the track at New Balance, the facilities are amazing. We'll get you. Get you have a locker. Yeah, you have a locker down there. Did you there. see your locker? No, I didn't see it yet. Yeah. I saw it online. I yeah. didn't see it. It's, it's right, there. right there. Yeah. Oh, I'm so go check wise. it out. But thank you so much for doing this. Thank you. And Congratulations. We'll you yeah. you. World record. World record holder. <laughs> record. And you can take an Olipop for the yeah, road. Yeah, you can take a. <laughs> <laughs> I like grape. Grape is the purple You've one. You've got a vintage oh. cola there. Yeah, try, nice. try a grape out. Of course. <laughs> All right. Do we look alike? Oh, yeah. That, yeah that's a big alike. theory that you you guys look I, alike. I've asked who is my celebrity doppelganger, and yeah. I get three responses, and Femme Cabole is one of them. And uh, that, to me, is such an amazing compliment. I would need to see you run a 500. Let's to, go. Yeah, and then, then I can Let's tell go. You. Give me Apparently a couple of these, and I'm in. Our mics are having some audio issues. Huh. I think it's worth it. How long? Hey, friends. Oh, that's hey, Joe. A while. Hey. We can share my... No, it's the whole thing. Yeah, you're all... He won't even make eye contact. Yeah. All of us? Yeah. All right. Well, let's you're tell the here. listeners here. Yeah. All right. So if you can hear this right now, unfortunately, we're having some audio issues. 
And so what we're going to do is we're going to restart the live stream link and we're going to share it all over again on, on uh, Instagram and Twitter. <laughs> so to all 210 of you who are watching this right now, uh, keep an eye out. We're going to we'll have a new in link 30 seconds. in less than five minutes. I'm going to run a 500 in that time. Yeah. Stay with us. We'll be right back on a new link.